Hi guys, today we're gonna make this awesome baseball themed sculpture out of clay with a shoe, a bat, a ball, and a hat. The first part we're going to make is the shoe. You're gonna break off a piece of clay the size of a small potato. In fact, that is the shape that we're gonna go for. We're gonna shape this into a potato. So with kind of a rounded off top and bottom, and we're gonna use the table to round it off as well. And we're going to use our fingers to get out any cracks, smooth those all over, and make a nice little potato shape out of clay. After we get it all smoothed out, and we feel like the potato is perfect, we're gonna go ahead and push down on the potato a little bit and to make a flat base, a flat bottom on the potato. Then we're gonna squeeze in a little bit at the middle of the potato, and that's gonna create the arch shape for the foot, for the bottom of the footprint. So we're gonna do that, and after we get that part done, the next part is going to be making the opening for the foot. So use your thumb to do that and your finger to kind of hollow it out a little bit, get a good opening for the foot. And while you're doing that, always be careful not to move it or crack it. Just be, be gentle, but also go ahead and dig out a little area of that foot. Okay, got a good shape now. All right, next we're gonna make the part that the um, like the heel part that you would pull on to get your foot into the shoe, okay? I'm gonna roll out a snake, flatten it a little bit, and kind of curve it around the back of that foot opening. Scratch and attach. Always make sure you're adding a little bit of water. Get that nice glue slip going on there. And then I'm kind of pinching around, I'm flattening them toward the front and making it a little bit taller on the back. You guys can, you know, depending on the shoe design that you choose, you might want to change that detail to make it look a little different, but there's the basic part of it, okay? That's that part of the shoe. All right, next we're going to make the tongue of the shoe, all right? So roll out a little bit, probably about the size of a strawberry, flatten it out, okay? Um, so it should be kind of long and flat. And then you're going to kind of measure it against your shoe. You want it kind of a little bit thin, okay? Not so thin that it's floppy and it breaks, but pretty thin. I'm gonna cut the edge off a little bit because I kind of measured it against my shoe and to see what size I wanted. So I'm rounding off the top and the bottom. There it is. Um, anytime you cut, you always wanna go around the cut edges with your finger and a little bit of water because you don't ever wanna show those cut edges. You wanna smooth them out. So anytime you cut something out, definitely smooth the edges. All right, there goes the tongue. I'm gonna to let it curl up a little bit because that looks really good, like somebody's about to put their shoe on or they've just been playing in their shoe. Scratch and attach that tongue really good to the shoe. There we go. All right, smooth it on over, press down so you make sure it's attached really good. I'm kind of blending the top in, but there we go. We got our tongue and we got the heel part. All right, so we're gonna take and make three little lines there just to give our shoe, uh, the tongue, a little bit of detail. And then next we're gonna make kind of the sides of the shoe where the laces are going to go into, okay? So you wanna flatten out a pancake uh, again, about the size of a strawberry. You wanna make it pretty thin, so press it into the table and flip it. Anytime you're pressing something and making it flat using the table, always flip so you're making sure it doesn't stick down, okay? On those messy mats you guys are working on, sometimes it can get really sticky if there's water on those, so make sure that you're checking that. All right, I'm cutting out kind of a oval, but with a flat top, okay? You can see how it's going to wrap around the shoe, okay? And I'm measuring it, making sure it's the right size, smoothing out those cut edges, okay? And I'm kind of putting the, the bigger part toward the bottom of the shoe and the flat top right there up toward the top. Okay, scratch and attach time. Do, 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 do. Scratch and attach. Get that nice and roughed up and get the slip going and it'll stick together good. Press it in, press it in really, really good. Make sure it's really stuck and then take and use your stick, watch out for those clay boogers and make a little 
line around there. And that kind of shows some of the stitching of the shoe, okay? And it'll depend a little bit on the style of your shoe, what this part looks like. Repeat for the other side. I cut that part out so you wouldn't have to watch it again. All right, so make your line for the shoe stitches. Smooth out the bottom of the shoe. Get your extra clay together, okay. All right. But now it's time to, you know, kind of go around your shoe. Put a little detail in there, okay? Depending on what kind of shoe you are making, what brand, what you want to do, th th all this part's going to look different. So you guys decide how you want it to look. But I just put kind of a basic line around mine, and that's it. That's, that's all I'm really going to do. I'm going to keep it kind of simple, okay? All right. Now is the time for us to make the... Uh, lace holes, I believe. Okay, I'm just getting a little too perfectionist now. All right, so make four holes on the sides and kind of see how I'm kind of wiggling my stick around a little bit. Make sure those holes are open enough. Okay, there. Now we got that. Now we're going to make a skinny, skinny, mini, mini snake. Okay, the best and the easiest way to make a skinny, mini snake is to use your fingertips to roll out the skinniest snake that you can possibly roll. And, you know, make sure you don't have clay that's really dry for this because it'll just break. If it does break off, it's not the end of the world. You can always use little tiny pieces to do little details. Oh, yep, yeah, look, there mine broke. Oh, broke again. All right, so now I'm going to kind of tuck that in and see how I dipped it in the water because you know what? This is going to be too small to scratch and attach. So we're just going to try to tuck it in there, stick it in there with our... Um, our little pokey sticks and we're going to dip it in water see I'm measuring it and kind of putting it in X's back and forth on the holes of the shoe okay got the top one use my fingertips make it skinnier this part is fun I like doing the shoelaces oh it broke oh well okay so okay there's the other X <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Now kind of push them in there to make sure that they're sticking good. Because like I said, they were too small to scratch and attach, so that means danger, danger, they could fall off. So you really want to make sure that you are sticking them in there. And I'm using my um, pokey little, little pokey tool to kind of stick them in there a little bit more. Now I'm going to make the bow for the laces. Your shoe may not have this detail. You don't have to put it, but I'm going to put it on there because I like it. So I'm just curving a couple little skinny snakes around, dipping them in water, and pressing them in to attach them as good as I can. Okay, I think shoe's done. Shoe's pretty much done. Oh, we're going to add a couple more details here. Sure. Yep, okay. Okay, Mrs. Ledyard, you don't need to be perfect. There you go, okay. Making some texture. Oh, cleaning up the bottom. All right, make sure you do that. There we go, to get in the back. Okay, good enough. Okay, shoe done. Now we're going to do the hat, the baseball hat. This part is pretty fun. You're going to break off a good sized chunk about the size of an apple. And you are going to roll it into a nice ball. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, we get it. Roll. All right. Then we are going to flatten it out either with your hand or a rolling pin. You want this pretty thin. Okay, but not too thin. You can see how thin I've got it. It still holds its shape. It's not floppy. <clears throat> but not so thin that it breaks. All right, I'm going to make a circle. Oops, no, I'm not. I'm going to trace something to make a circle. Yep, that's always a safer bet. Okay, trace, cut it out. Okay, put the extra to the side. You're going to need that later. All right, take care of those edges. Always when you cut an edge, use a little water to clean it up. Okay. Oh, man, I'm a perfectionist, aren't I? Okay, there. Now, we, oh yeah, okay, this is the top of the hat. This is a cute little, this just tiniest, tiniest little ball of clay that you can make. 
just the teeniest thing. All right, now you're going to lightly draw. If you guys press down and cut through this, your whole little hat is gonna fall apart. So you want the lightest touch when you draw those lines. It's a plus sign and an X over top of it. Scratch and attach that little dot in the middle. And now we're going to cut out some little, what are called tuck points, fancy word, um, that are going to help us shape this hat into a balloon-ish kind of shape. So go around to the lines and make some triangle cutouts. They don't gotta be perfect. You just go around and cut out each little end. Okay, now it looks like a flower, but that's not what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a hat, a hat. Okay, so I am scratching and attaching and I'm kind of trying, now I'm trying to squeeze the triangles back together. And when you do that, it's going to kind of start to shape it into the hat. This part can be kind of tricky. If your um, triangles don't go back together the whole way, don't try to force them. Just ease it, ease it around. This is a this is going to take a gentle touch. You're just gently shaping this. You don't have to make sure that they go all the way together yet. But see, it'll already start to make a hat. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Now they're not all the way together. So what I have to do is kind of turn them around and I've got to smooth them over. But if you don't get them all the way together, it won't matter. It's, it's gonna be okay. I'm just kind of using my fingernails to kind of really scratch some clay over and fill up those cuts. And then when I get that all cleaned up, then I'm gonna go and redraw those little lines. Don't cut through, be careful. Just redraw those little lines all the way once you get it all smoothed out. Okay, all right, boom. Now we get to make the brim of the hat. Yep, that's why you save that rest of that piece there. You're gonna cut out a brim of the hat from it. So cut out that shape, measure it against your little hat, and then you're gonna scratch and attach it. All right, I'm getting a little picky about what the shape is. All right, there I go. I'm gonna scratch and attach it to the hat. It's a little tricky on an, on that angle. It's kind of two thin pieces. You don't want to push too hard. So again, I'm flipping it over and I'm going to use my fingernail to really kind of scrape the two things together to make them one piece again and join them up. I'm going to do one more thing to make it stronger and also add a detail. Roll one of those skinny little snakes with your fingertips and dip it in the water. And then I'm going to put it across the brim of the hat and kind of tuck it around underneath and that's going to make it nice and strong okay here we go smooth it all out hat is done boom got a shoe got a hat now i realize some of you are going to do different things right some of you are going to make two shoes some of you are not going to make a hat i don't know you guys have the freedom to choose your details here okay so it's really up to you. I don't need you to make a sculpture exactly like mine, but this was what I was inspired to make. And I thought I want to show you all these different things and get your ideas going. And you can always go online and look at your own um, clay tutorials if you want to, to get more ideas. I'm making the bat here. So I rolled out another snake, a thicker snake, and then I just rolled it on one side to only make one side skinny make it look like that bat shape looks pretty good it's the size that i want i'm going to tap the end to kind of make the bat handle there well, yeah there we go okay that looks pretty good bat done all right now i'm going to make um, some texture lines on it watch out for them clay boogers okay so go over that and if you find a clay booger wipe it off there you go i'm just making some texture lines for the wood okay bat done now gonna make the ball balls easy you know how to make the ball the only tricky part about the ball is that if you um well i guess just like making the stitches if you really want to go overboard you could make little tiny snakes and make the stitches 3d oh my goodness that would take forever i'm just drawing the lines on and then i'm going to use my pointy end of my tool to make little marks that look to me like baseball stitches. So I'm gonna do that. And on both of them, go all the way around. Da, da, 
da-da-da-da-da. There we go. Almost made it around. There we go. Okay, done. All right, so I've got all four little pieces of my sculpture that I love. Maybe you could do a baseball mitt. I haven't done, I mean, I could add that to my, that would be kind of a cool thing to add. It's really up to you. I'm gonna make a base, okay? So I wanna attach all these to a base. Otherwise, what is going on here? What the heck is it? So I'm making a thicker pancake, kind of a cookie thickness. I'm gonna smooth it all out nice, get it looking really good, and make sure you're picking it up all the time, making sure it's not sticking. This is gonna be a little thicker. You don't want it too thin because this has gotta hold all your little parts, so it's gotta be strong, okay? Go around those edges, clean them up. All right, where's my shoe gonna go? I like it there. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. Kind of start with the biggest object. Scratch and attach that puppy. There he goes. Onto there. All right, next hat. How's the hat gonna go? Which way is it gonna point? Do I like it that way or that way? Oh, I like it that way. Okay, boom. Scratch and attach. Scratch and attach. Back and forth. Make sure it's not wiggling anymore. Okay, where's the back gonna go? Is it gonna lean on the shoe? Is it gonna lean on the hat? How's it gonna go? I think it's just gonna go flat across the front. Makes a nice little triangle there. Triangles are always good. There we go. We will be having indoor recess today. Oh, there you go. Now we know we have indoor recess, guys. <laughs> okay, so I scratched and attached the ball on and now I'm gonna scratch and attach that little baseball. Now the baseball is gonna to touch all three of the pieces. So I wanna scratch and attach everywhere that little baseball is going to stick. It's a little tricky, a little tricky, but I want him safe in there. I want him secure, I want him to stick. There it is. There's my sculpture, my baseball sculpture with all the different pieces. I love it. Somewhere I'm gonna find a spot to put my name. Ta-da, there you go. Now go make your own. <laughs> 